Okay, so I'm Grasshopper at home. Welcome to Grid. We're back. We're behind schedule a little bit. I'm sorry about that, but it is what it is. Um, but I'm gonna get some recording done today, and we're gonna just see which one I feel like playing as I scroll through. Classic touring brands hatch. Sure, let's go for that. That seems reasonable. Haven't played Grid in a while, but it wasn't. Um... <laughs> I, I can't really say it wasn't the hardest game, so I'm playing it on medium difficulty, but um, I'm sure if you crank it up, it's, it's pretty tough. But I think I've been doing alright with it, mostly first through thirds, unless I get crashed out. But I guess with the undo button, that's kind of like the strongest thing. So but I've got a camera on my Oh, I like that little car. Uh, let's not qualify, let's uh, be a dangerous boy. Skip the qualifications. I don't know what's the best way to get a quick start. No, let's not crash out my co-driver, I remember that much from the strategy book. Alright, a little bit of a breakaway in. <laughs> Onto the pack we go. The thing with all these cups is they're designed to be raced by like <laughs> normal people, um, and I just crunch my way through the pack. No real person would drive like this. No real person would sacrifice <laughs> this much damage on their car and health just to like smash their way through. Come on, let me in. Sponsored by Cobra Sport. Thank god we live in a time when advertising hasn't ramped up so much that, um, Sponsors in the game are real sponsors. They're still fake. They're still like secure. BLM. None of that means anything to me. I hope that it never does. I hope they never start doing real sponsorships in games. That nice. The man that's in charge of its sponsorships sees this video. Don't do the opposite of what I said. Don't get those greedy money dollar eyes. Bottle. See, surely that's that could be a real thing. Though. I feel like I now want to double check if these sponsors are all fake. Tang Tools, that's gotta be fake. Sorry, Sophia. I'll sneak past you there. That's dangerous. I love my co driver gives such useless advice. Like, it's the final lap, let's try and win. It's like, what the fuck did you think I was gonna do? to be given... <laughs> oh, that guy's boot open. Is that his braking technique? Does he just lean through the back of the car? <laughs> Pop open the boot. Surely that's affecting his speed. It's got to. His aerodynamics are off the grid. Also, we need to get a move on. Barely catching these guys. One guy's got his boot open. He's throwing stuff out of it. There's banana peels and everything. What kind of Mario Kart nonsense is this? Diego, sorry about that. I think I knocked him off the track a little bit. Nice power slide. What's the difference between a power slide and a drift? Drift involves the handbrake, maybe? Whereas a power slide is just you accelerate the whole way through. I don't know anything about drifting. I've watched, um, <laughs> Need for Speed. Need for Speed Tokyo Drift. Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift. Something Tokyo Drift I've seen. Alright, home stretch. Free and clear. Nice. Oh, my teammate got 7,000. That's good. Not bad by him at all. 12th is actually quite bad. I, I would have thought when he got that much prize money, he was a bit further up. Our team only came like tied first because the other team did like two decent ones compared to one guy winning and one guy coming 12. <laughs> Damn it, Peyton! Once I hit like a decent level, I'm just gonna fire his ass, get a new person. Oh, I got player card design. And a new touring cup. 500,000 to spare. 
think the VIP mode actually makes it too easy, because it gives you that extra bit of money. I thought that we would be doing stuff like taking out loans and deciding between, uh, like, hard choices of the sponsors, not just like, do you want this money or this money? And you couldn't really go wrong if you tried. Um, I mean, we did one Touring Cup. Group 1 challenge. Yeah, let's do a Group 1 challenge. Grid Edition Chevrolet. Ah, so because I have the grid edition, I get the car for free, but I'm not supposed to. So I think I'll I'll buy one. Ferrari. How does that look? Gotta judge cars solely on how they look, and that looks pretty nice. Let's change how it's colored up though. Ferraris are supposed to be what? Reds and greens? Are the colours that they're Oh, that black and red looks nice, though. Ooh. <laughs> black and red's like, uh, just... <laughs> a colours combo that will always get me. My entire PC setup's black and red. Like, just... Something about it just grabs me. You guys have a colour combination that just gets you. You just can't help but... If there's an option that's black and red, I'll be like, Ooh, that one looks the best. And then I'll think to myself, no, I like that red racing. too much, so maybe this let's not pick that. Tristan, what makes this track uh, so iconic? Yeah, we can do it without qualifying, sure. Let's get ballsy. Really should have damaged the Ferrari. And I say this knowing full well that I'm going to damage oh, I've already damaged the Ferrari. In for a penny and for a pound.
Siege Driver has his own specialty. Oh, maybe I'm supposed to be firing and rehiring different races for each race I go into. Maybe I'm not supposed to be jumping around in this one. Alright, I'm stretch, we're free and clear. Oh wait, no, we've got another lamp. I'm lucky I didn't do that handbrake spin then. Normally I like seeing the cars go across the finish line sideways. <laughs> Medium difficulty with the VIP stuff and the free cars and stuff, that doesn't help either because that's. I may be grinding out the money. Peyton did well though. Thanks, Peyton. I wonder if, um. If I did like a hard New Game Plus type thing, if I bought a really good driver, that my secondary driver would outperform me regularly. Because Peyton came fifth. If I was, like, really bad, then maybe. <laughs> Maybe I'd be coming like 5th or 7th and he'd be doing a bit better. I think I'm also supposed to be like cooperating with him and doing like tactical, uh, teamwork, uh, aerodynamic... Uh, crafting? Is that what it's called? Uh, it's, I think that's not I think that's like skin craft. It's like when you follow someone and the wind tunnel lets the aerodynamic go over you. They do it in cycling all the time. Drafting, that's it. Not grafting. It's moving skin, I think. But thank you for joining me on this episode of Grid. It's going to be a little bit short. We would normally do an extra race, but I want to get some recording done, footage uploaded to compensate for the fact that I uh, have missed a few deadlines whilst I was at my girlfriend's house playing with her cats all the time. So a couple of short videos, maybe one every day for a few days. <laughs> Sorry. Um, thank you guys for joining me. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye. <laughs>